Hey everybody, welcome back to Touchy Reactions. Fans of Wrexham AFC, we are back with another episode of Welcome to Wrexham Season 2. This is episode 15. It's called Up the Town? Question mark. We're down to two games left in the season. Wrexham needs to win one of them to get promoted. And uh, fingers crossed that they're going to do well. I got my awesome sister Danielle here with me. We're not going to waste any more time. Let's go ahead and jump into this episode. You ready? Yep. Okay, here we go. How early in the morning do you think they start drinking? Uh, 11-ish. <laughs> <laughs> This game <laughs> is so much you don't believe. We've got worldwide now, but I'm telling you now, this game is like something you wouldn't believe. You would not believe. Look at the raw emotion in this man. Well, he might have started drinking at about nine. <laughs> he's got tears in his eyes. Right. He's passionate about this match, about this game. But I think he might be a little tipsy. I think everybody's got... A feeling in their heart that today's the day, right? Right. Believe. Come on, Wrexham. Come on, we can do this. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Bless him. Come on, Wrexham. They didn't give us our don't forget to sing when you win, uh, well, normally there's a little piece first and then the intro comes yeah, but, on. Yeah, but they give us the uh, sign that says Welcome to Wrexham after that song and it just came up. So we might not get it this round. <laughs> okay, dog. I'll see you in a bit. Okay. You know, you have to give credit sometimes to the opposition, Wrexham and Notts County. They're, they're too good for this league, but they're two big teams as well. And, and I think that's what makes this title race for me. I've been almost doing this 10 years now. This, this is by far the best title race in a, in a long, long time. As a Notts fan, it's frustrating when we've got a team, it's typical Notts, you know, we finally get a team that are picking up points everywhere you go, and it's amazing. It's absolutely brilliant to be part of. It both sides, you know, of going on to get the league record for the most amount of points. It's an absolute travesty that only one goes up automatically and one of these sensational teams might not even make it out of the league this season. Notts County have been phenomenal this season. Now, I look at their team and I look at their squad and I can see why they're doing so well. I look at ours and I think, we're doing what we should do with the quality of players we've got. I feel they're slightly stretching themselves and overperforming, but they keep doing it. They're a superb side, let's be honest. They knock the ball around so well, and they've got that lad Langstaff up front. The Palmer now to Rodriguez, edge of the penalty oh, area. Yeah. He brilliantly finds Langstaff! Yeah. And Langstaff finds his record breaking moment. Macaulay Langstaff moves on to 42 goals wow. in the league. Tally that no man has ever reached at the fifth tier of the English game. 
he don't score 40 league goals at any level and, and you know, and not be a, a top-class striker. Uh, I think he's got a big future in the game. And I think, uh, there's some, some, you know, it, Luke Williams has done so well there. But ultimately, though, we're, we're the two best teams, and we should be able to be anybody, but football doesn't work like that, does it? As much as this documentary has done for Wrexham, it's also done a bit of that for Notts County and Langstaff in particular, because he's kind of been painted as the uh, the best player on our biggest rivals team throughout this whole documentary. So I wouldn't be surprised if he got a lot more attention uh, yeah. based on this documentary. <clears throat> and I like that they're not trying to paint that team or him as the villain. No, no, they're just... Uh, I mean, they're giving willing, credit where credit's yeah. due. It's not like they're saying, oh, they're not that great. They're they saying are, they're a pretty damn good team. They're an honorable opponent. Right. Doesn't work like that at all. We have two games left, which means six available points. We only need three of those to win the title and get automatically promoted. But if we don't win those games and uh, someone else wins two of theirs, then that could mean we wind up in the playoffs and we all know how badly that can fucking go. This was not in the Hollywood script. In previous seasons, um, well, we've been in the playoffs you know, a few times now and we've come up short. And obviously, history does tell you the team that finishes second invariably don't go on to to win the playoffs. I mean, Notts County, with 109 points, and still not go up. It is ridiculous. <laughs> Mind-blowing. You know, there's been so much pressure on those players all season. I'm Roman. First... Tell me your name who you play for. I guess, so uh, much for shove your documentary <laughs> up your arse. <laughs> yeah, I guess they're no longer at the shove the documentary up your arse phase of the uh, of the relationship. I guess because they played their last game of the season, they no longer it's it's out of their hands. <laughs> your position. Kyle Langstaff, Nuts County, I'm a striker. I think both teams have pushed each other on. I don't think we would have got the points without Wrexham, and I don't think they would have got the points without us. I think because we've pushed each other so far, it's been an incredible race. I'm John Bostock, a midfielder, and I play for Notts County. I've been in this game a long time, and I've never seen anything like this before. To have two teams so dominant, to be going neck and neck right up until the end. <laughs> Kedron Scott, Notts County striker. It's been strange, like, you would think sort of achieving that points total and you win every week and then you look and your competitors have won as well. You just can't get rid of them. I think that's the toughest thing. I'm Luke Williams. Mm -hmm. I'm head coach of Notts County. I think there was one or two times where players were looking and checking phones at half-time and we had a, a short conversation about not doing that. After that game, after the defeat, we had a look to the playoffs. We started that hole. We still knew that we could possibly do it. It was a devastating one, obviously, the way it happens, having the penalty in the last minute and not converting that, that, that was a hard one to take because a draw gives you that bit of hope. It's a hope that kills you in the end, isn't it, really? Like, you, you've got that hope, you can't give up. Genuinely, the first thing I felt when the penalty was saved was I thought of, of Kedwin immediately because he's brave enough to step up and, and take the kick in that moment of the game, in that moment of the the league campaign and uh, I shared a moment with with Kedwin outside the grounds with his father as well he was feeling Kedwin's pain and Kedwin was distraught and uh, I, I wanted to tell him in in that really bad moment that I believed in him and that I felt like he would have big moments again for us and he'd be stronger for living through this experience playoffs like People say anything can happen. Of course, we'd like to avoid the playoffs, but mentally you can't write them off. Because I wonder, does the team that wins the league also participate in the playoffs if they've already clinched their spot going up? I don't know. Like if Wrexham does win a game and they're promoted, will they, they still also go be in, play in the playoffs? Will they also be in the playoffs. If not, I'm absolutely rooting for Notts County to win the playoffs and both teams go up. That's, yeah, that'd what, that's be awesome. what needs to happen, right? We could be there. Playoffs is really difficult because you have that high of potentially achieving all my promotion and winning the league, and then you have to get yourself mentally ready for a, a playoff campaign. It felt like a big boiling pot, to be honest. Knots cannot afford to make a mistake. 
we shouldn't make a mistake. We can't afford it anyway either. Boreham will not be an easy game. They're the best defensive team in the league and have a better record playing away from home. And their goalkeeper, Nathan Ashmore, is arguably the best goalkeeper in the league and already has 15 clean sheets this season. Uh, tough game. Bournemouth had a good season themselves. Uh, they're in the playoff zone. Uh, I've had some competitive games against them uh, in the last couple of years and expect Saturday to be no different. We know how Bournemouth play. We know what we've got to do to get the better of them and exploit the weaknesses and also nullify their strengths. And now it's up to us as a team and as a group to implement that game plan really well. And if we do, we'll have a, we'll have a great chance of winning. My nerves and my nails are in shreds. Oh, mine have gone. Mine have gone. I gave up on them a couple of weeks ago. They've gone now. We started at the Halifax game. You yeah. know how that started. And my old... Did I miss? The, did they post the score of what they scored last time they played Bournemouth? Did they? We show? saw that in the last season. Remember, because we see, we were like, "Damn, that guy looks Samoan or yeah. Fijian." Yeah. So that's from last season. Okay. This is coming on nicely. <laughs> I'm sure I've got lots of because I have such such anxiety when we're so close. And we're three points from the promised land now. That's all. You know, it it sounds easy, doesn't it? Three points. From two games, yeah, you think yeah. yes, yeah. Huh. but it's football, you know. We've done it before. We've thrown it away at the last minute, and I'm thinking, please, please, Lex, and don't do it this time. You know, can't look forward to it. I guess that getting, I know, you know, a bit emotional <laughs> thinking yeah. about it. But you know, gosh, if we do it, my dad said last night. He said, just wish we do it. So this is probably the biggest game, isn't it? Yeah, we will. We will. I hope so. <laughs> Do you get this emotional for Denver? Um, not this season. <laughs> In the past, I, uh, I've gotten this emotional over NASCAR. <laughs> really? When Dale Earnhardt died, I cried like a baby. Well, I mean, that's a little bit different. That's something tragic and unexpected. Yeah, but as far as, like, games, winning games and winning championships. Like being so anxious about, like, the last time the Broncos were in the Super Bowl. Were, were, the last time they were in the Super Bowl, they got destroyed. But the time before that, they won the Super Bowl. But uh, we're leading up to it, did you have this much? I was super nervous, of... super nervous. I don't know if I was this committed. I don't yeah. live in Denver. I haven't lived my whole life rooting for Denver. You know what I mean? These people, it, they... That's all they've known. They've thought that's the yeah. team they've ever rooted for. And they've been through all the tragedy up to this point. Right, they have of, a personal investment. Getting too. close and losing, getting close and losing, getting close and losing. And now <laughs> the hope is there. The the reality is there that they've got this real chance here. And that nobody wants to go through that loss again. Hmm. Well, I don't. I don't. don't you'll, <laughs> you'll start me off and then we'll. Let's hope for a celebration. <laughs> yes, we will. We will. We will celebrate. Yeah. Yeah. The Scotsman for the match ball to make it 5 2. And that should finally seal those three points. Uh oh. <laughs> it is for sure two full years coming uh, bubbling to the to the top. I would say that that's been happening constantly, though. Just when I think I can't bubble any more, like at the Knots game, here I am having a genuinely a full four sleepless nights leading up to Boreham Wood. Wow. Uh, it's all I think about. It has to end today. It has to end. This has just been going on for so long. I know. <laughs> and our <laughs> nervous system. 107 yeah. points. It should have been over yeah. months ago. For them, they've only suffered through it for two seasons. You know right. what I mean? Everyone else in town suffered for 20 years. Yeah, 15 years. <laughs> This looks nice. I literally called Rob this morning just like to whine. Yes, like, that's my, right. my tongue is in knots. Well, look who it is. It's uh, what's his name? Ant Man. Yeah. Who's he? Who plays him? Uh, Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd. Hey, look, it's Paul Rudd. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, 
You know, it's been 15 years of torment for, for, the, for the club. The players and the squad who get this team over the line, promotion, are going to be heroes for, for many, many years to come. Yep. I was already a Wrexham fan anyway. I always was. But this has been bigger and better and more exciting than ever, ever would have imagined. Hopefully I'll be welcome back to the stadium for, for the rest of my life as well. Definitely. What a boys. Superb lads. Fucking brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, just a couple of reminders then, boys. Okay, so the team's the same as, as we expected. Just remember, and a few of you mentioned it, they will definitely slow the game down, throw themselves to the floor, take the time long throws. Let me and Steve get onto the officials on touchline. Every every one of you just concentrate on what you've got to do. Leave the space, moles and dogs, and just leave it down there for Bush to fucking chase. And we'll see fucking how many times you can fucking deal with that. And the last point is that reset. You can never, ever, ever think the job's done in football. We know we're going to do. We know we're going to play. Let's go and put in a really top performance today. Let's go, boys. Come on, boys. Let's go. It's about promotion. I think, you know, obviously I've been part of a, an exciting couple of years, first of all. But I'll only reflect on it in a really positive way if we get the job done. I just saw somebody waving a Wrexham flag that had the, the shield on it, the mm -hmm. Wrexham logo. And it reminds me of a comment someone left on the last video. They said, uh, you know you're using the wrong logo, right? And I was like, what are you talking about? I said, I've been using this same logo for every video. And they said, yeah, the date is wrong on it. Uh, they used to think that that was the date that the club was founded. And like then they, 1886 or something Yeah, like then that. they found a newspaper that said that the team had been around for 15 years, and so they had to change the number. So everyone watching this video, the new shield is right here below us. Thank you to that person who pointed out that we've been using the wrong uh shield this whole time we have corrected it and uh we'll move forward with the correct one okay <laughs> yeah are those real though because you know i don't look very uh correct <laughs> well you know how normally when you see them they're Crisp. so in what's it called in sync with yeah, each other yeah. Pageantry. This is, this is quite something. Wow. Yeah, this is quite something. Now, I wonder if Ryan Reynolds really knew what he was doing when he brought this club. <laughs> yeah. I think we've seen Ryan Reynolds fall more and more in love with this club and this game as, as time has gone on, haven't we? And it's, it's a lovely thing to see. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Field looks good. success this season it's another game for them they have been formidable at home this year and they have to go again for one more game but you're coming up against a side that can certainly spoil the party a side in luke garrett's team watch. that his team's already been fairly easy what's that it's hard to watch no they got this they'll, they'll, they'll do fine i bet this team's about to score in the first one minute. oh no <laughs> you know what you have to do concentrate play the game frustrate wrexham as much as possible and play on the counter as best as possible Mendy Shadow. Now Dolby. Looking all ready to release Smullin. Ashmore with the clearance. 15 clean sheets for him this season. A tool to Lodge. And it locks in. Well, I tell you, in the first one minute, they're about to score. Start. You know why? Because they never have this on here. This is not here. The score at the top of the screen? Yeah, that's... Did, did they just score in the first 45 seconds? Yes, in the first 45 <laughs> seconds. I told you, watch, about to score in the first one minute. That's the only reason I could think that they would have this on here for us watch to watch. Oh, my goodness. Inside a minute, Borough Woods have come to the race course oh. and they break the deadlock. Is there to be yet another twist in this title race? Really? Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, that just happened. Talk about silencing the crowds. Here we go. Typical Wrexham game.
where they uh, make us nervous. As, as hell. we've been watching this, I've been trying to pick out because they do such a good job of tricking us. Yeah. So I've been trying to look for the uh, giveaways. Yeah. Phil usually gives. Usually, when I listen to him talk, I can tell. He gives, he's, he has, I don't know what his tell is. I think it's a smile when he's talking about it. He's not very in good past about tense. Uh, covering right. it up. Day, it was that thing, uh, them showing us that thing on the screen. They've never showed us that before. Well, well, well. Is the National League going to do it again? He just never, ever can take anything for granted. Well, I know Lou Williams says he wasn't going to. That even looked like an easy goal. He just chipped it up over the goalie's head. It wasn't even contested. I told you, I always feel bad for the goalie yeah. because they got to take that so personal. Yeah, yeah. But I'm pretty sure he's been told early on. Still a long, long way to go in this game. He's a Wrexham player. He still keeps to the original game plan. Dolby brings down beautifully and beats Payne. And it's a good ball to Miller on the right. Mullen, oh, he's taken out very late there. Does he melt the McGillan? Mendy's going wide, Lee feeds it towards him. Mendy accelerating, gets there first. And now he's taking on Susan. He's oh, oh, down. Be a yellow card. That should be a yellow card, but it won't be, I bet you. <laughs> Here comes Lee then, right footed. Swept with height, Ashmore's underneath it. Oh, it's headed over. That was a chance for Toza. Tomorrow, he flips it inside brilliantly. Toby, step shot is blocked. Through and taken quickly, and Mullen turns his man. Edge of the area, has to go backwards. Jones now has got Barnett in space. Barnett now takes to go inside, then goes around the outside, chips to the far post. Yeah! <laughs> That's super far, Mullen. Elliot Lee, yes. Elliot Lee. We can breathe a little bit now. Right. Starting fresh. Like, like. But that first goal for them, get all that does is give them momentum. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. I'm talking about the other team. Oh. Well, they I score hope, in the I first 49 goal... seconds. They're like, okay, we might have a shot at this. No. no I think Wrexham just broke their spirit with that goal there, and it's going to be easy the rest of the way. God, from your lips. <laughs> playing in, in the high pressure games. Drop. If you'd have asked me, will I, will I be at my happiest moving away from my family and, uh, and playing in the National League uh, a year ago or two years ago, I would have said absolutely not. But um, life works in, in funny ways and I'm, I'm definitely at my happiest playing for, the, for, this, for this club. I want to bring this town success so bad. There's nothing I want more than to take Wrexham into the league. You actually, you can see so much potential there. You can see, right, if we can get promoted in this league, then we can go again and we can get promoted in the next league. Promotion is just the greatest feeling in football, really. To know that you've, you've worked hard for so long, sacrifices you put in for your family, not seeing them, not seeing your partner, and and then just to have that feeling at the end of all that hard work and the sacrifices paying off. Great ball! Yeah! 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 Especially here with Wrexham, they're surrounded by great people. Six-yard box for Wrexham. Three on the edge. Don't lose their men. Throw comes in with height on it. Headed away easily by Evans. Cannon knocks it back in. Partly cleared by Marsh. And it's hooked back into the box by Barnett. Dolby. Oh. Oh. Ref doesn't give in. He certainly made contact in his back with his arm. Yeah. Now Wrexham got a chance to break here. Cannon accelerates forwards. Mullen's ahead of him. So is Dolby. He goes for Mullen. Sprinting in the box. Gets goal side. It's a shot well held by Ashford. 
this team has some big defenders on the backside, huge dudes. Like They, they look said like, they're known for their defense. They look like football players, American football players, like big guys. It's like Roman found space. Mendy's had a drops all corner. His clearance isn't the best. It's high in the air. Dolby jumps. Oh, and he's taken it ahead. Clash of heads. You know, I've not missed a game at the race course in years. However, it's such a massive day that I couldn't imagine not spending it at the turf. The turf is where it began for me, you know, all those years ago. So it just felt right to spend it here with my wife, my friends, my family, you know, the people that mean the most to me. Um, I wouldn't have been able to do that at a stadium, you know, it's such a massive day. Uh, and to be able to spend it with, you know, people that mean the most to me um, at the turf, it just felt just felt right. He's already got one of those black jerseys that they're not wearing yet. <laughs> well, see now he his little speech there makes me feel like they are gonna win. Yeah. Cause of the music they played when he was talking. I don't know. I don't know. I just hope they don't give up another goal. Cause the they can't lose this game. They they uh, they can get away with a tie and win the next one, but they cannot lose. Fucks will be given. What's that? Fucks will be given in the halftime speech. Yeah, there. I don't know. I think he's going to be more positive, and there, maybe there won't be a lot of yes. <laughs> what well on, boys? This is, this is obviously a disappointing start. You know, a little ball in, in behind, but just got to be keep being alive to that. Apart from that, you've done brilliant. You've done absolutely brilliant. You fucking remain calm and fucking kept playing. So don't get frustrated. It's just when the football comes, make sure it's of a high quality, which it has been. Keep playing the way you've been playing and the moments will come. I've been a manager 18, 19 years. It's the first job for a while where I've moved into the area and um, yeah, I've actually enjoyed that, and uh, but it, it does really hit home to you how much it means. You know, it is part of the culture. When you're young, your dad takes you to watch a football match. The crowd, the atmosphere, people remember it. You know, they remember being at the games with their kids and watching you know, great moments, and they live, live in their memories as much as the people who are actually involved in them out on the pitch or on the touchline. The memories and, and the achievements are so important, and um, you want to be remembered, and, uh, you know, I think that's it's a real driving force for everybody. Football's got kind of a magic about it. I'm starting to feel like they're going to win this game. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like it. He hasn't cracked that smile yet that tells me... Uh... He's reflecting on something that makes him smile. But they're building this up. They're really telling us everyone's <clears throat> kind of uh, backstory and emotion, kind of where they're at. I feel like this is it. This is, they're going to win today. And what do I love most about it? It's the accomplishment of, of, of winning on a Saturday afternoon. The, when everything comes together and all the work you've seen on the training ground or a player you've done a lot of homework to bring the club as a great game and gets a goal then that, the feeling of that is, is one which is hard to replace. Outside, let's get this back three of us fucking running back their own goal. Come on, boys, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, boys, let's go. Win the second half, win the league. That's a simple equation. 
Bora Woods, very good defensively. In fact, they haven't conceded in the second half of a game in any of their last six matches. This a title race that has compelled us, has kept us guessing for months. Does that end this evening at the end of this next 45 minutes, or will we get final day drama? <laughs> Jones, only has Mullen ahead of him. Great ball to Mullen. On the right flank, can Mullen cut inside and take an Evans? Dorby's in the box, and Mullen tries to pick him out. Bush reads it, a groan from the crowd. Cross comes in, Foster takes it well. Cannon down, running at his man, pokes it to Dorby, back to Golda Jelly. Oh, it's in past the cannon! Oh, oh shit! He's offside! He's offside! Let's put it in the net! Offside! I think that was close. Ten yards into Boromut's territory. Nice chip ball for Mullen, who's got Agbonta Homer leaning on him. Great turn by Mullen. Gets away from Agbonta Homer into the box. Left hand side shoots. Oh, man. What a goal. Super ball. What a cannon. Cannon on that kick. Oh, my goodness. They've got to replay it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I still have a bad feeling. What's that? I still have a bad feeling. Roll it back. I don't think they're going to show it again. Leaning on a great turn by Mullen. Gets away from a bond on into the box. Left hand side shoots. <laughs> Come on. Wow, what a, what yeah, a shot. Yeah, that was a great goal. He has no right to get his shots off. It's an unbelievable finish from him. Take about Paul Mullen. 52 minutes. We still got a little bit of too much time left in this game. <clears throat> I want to hear the Super Paul Mullen chant, though. Yeah. We got Super Bowl Mullen. Super Bowl. This takes oh, me. Oh, the music! It's you know not what this takes me back to? Season one, when they first said we're going to go out and get some talent, mm -hmm. and everyone said you got to get Paul Mullen, and they they didn't know who Paul Mullen was. You know what I mean? The Americans had no clue who he was. Yeah. They trusted all these folks. They brought him on board, and he could possibly be the one to score the goal to take them up at the, if that's the last goal. Well, if you listen to this music, it <laughs> might as well be the fucking Darth Vader <laughs> music. All right, here we go. Can you sit in here? Okay, then. Right, high five. Have another one. Is that fun? Your space is a charity based around helping children with autism. Eventually, I'm really pleased to meet you. Hi, Nicholas. Nice to meet real people with real legs. It's um, an unbelievable charity, and it's obviously something that's very close to me. How? So we've got Morgan, who's a massive Wrexham fan. I know he's okay? been waiting, haven't you? How's it waiting going? to meet you. You've been waiting patiently. There's a lot of people now in the world who do view me as a different figure, should I say. I don't know what, how to explain it, but I don't see myself as anybody. Football's a game. You want to test yourself at the highest level, but ultimately your family comes first. Like that. Isn't it? Yeah. It's That's like cool, that. that. I like that. You know, you, you sit there at night and you think you've got it all figured out and you think you're on the right path and the next day you're 10 steps back. <laughs> very, very exciting you okay? to see you. I thought if I could help one person to be able to deal with their child's diagnosis and help them to accept the child, because I know it's not easy. The pressure you put yourself under, the guilt you feel, is ultimately just normal and natural. But if you've got someone to talk to and relay, and who knows, they might have a family member who've been through the same thing, and you can oh. share the story of your child. Every autism's different, but it's the hope that gets us. Okay. My little arm feels the same. Oh, you've got the best hugs. I think Albie will be jealous. <laughs> you know when he watches on the telly? If he's saying, that's my daddy. Come on. Yeah. 
I'm telling you, the way they're editing this, they're showing us the journey. They're showing us the journey of everybody. God, I hope you're right. I'm tearing up over here. I mean, he'd be doing this regardless of Rob or Ryan, you know, regardless of the fact that they now own Wrexham Football Club. She'd be doing this anyway, because she's always done it. It's a blessing. He's really helped her. It's a brilliant club, brilliant players, brilliant people, brilliant on all of it. Let alone Wrexham, come on the sound. I didn't think last year was our year. This year, right from the off, I've kept saying, this is our year, this is our year. <laughs> 2 1 is still a nervy scoreline for Wrexham. How they would love the comfort of a two goal cushion. Can they see this through for the biggest win? of their season, you could argue the biggest win of their modern history. Or will the battle for promotion have to come down to the final day? Come on, so Mindy. You know, the other team doesn't have a chance to win the league, but they're still battling really hard. They could easily be playing soft right now. But I, they either don't want to be the team that lets the win happen against them, or... Maybe it's however high you finish in the league is how you're seated in the tournament. So, and I don't think anybody who has a competitive nature are just going to go out and half-ass it. Okay, I get what you mean, but I feel like they're they're playing extra hard. They're, they don't want to be the ones that uh, lose the game that put Wrexham up kind of thing, I don't think. But they look great. They're playing super tough. Now Wrexham. Determined to get over the line today. Kelsey's expecting a baby girl on May the 12th. After what happened last time, I'm obviously very happy, but during the whole process, I'll remain nervous until, until she's here. Arthur was born sleeping. It was 27 weeks, so we went through proper labor. It was heartbreaking. Definitely true. When people say, you know, time's a healer, because it does get easier. But in that moment, it, it, it's really difficult to go through. So Kelsey and Jordan already know gender, OK? They're having a little girl. It's been a bit of a roller coaster. It's been the best news ever, but pregnancy after loss has been the hardest thing. In my terrifying. Head, I couldn't help but think, oh, is there something wrong still? It's baby, baby's heartbeats. She's going to struggle. She's very nervous, as as we'd all imagine. Um, any little twinges or anything that she doesn't feel is quite right. Probably just has a bigger microscope on it than, than normal normal pregnancies. But got massive hair. See his wife's back. That's definitely from it's him. Every milestone in the pregnancy that should be a happy experience has been hard and then the 27 week mark was a really difficult point because oh. arthur was born at 27 weeks so i think that was another just emotional time oh she's wiggling now oh can you make it out yeah. oh yeah Wow. Nose and lips. She's giving the us bottom. a little smile then. Oh, that's a good... Uh, ultrasounds have come a long way. Yeah, they have. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's actually the best one we've had, isn't it? Close to, isn't it? Yeah. Ultimately, I want Wrexham to be winning the league and the baby girl to, to come round nice and healthy, which all season working towards promotion, and then it's almost, I know, when the season ends, what's coming round the corner, so... It's almost all going to come to a big crescendo. Could be the best month of my life. <laughs> I 
67 minutes. Got, uh, Who'd they just bring in? Ollie Palmer and someone else? Uh, probably Jordan there. Towards mine. Bush is precocious and misses it. Oh, Ireland's running at Ireland's edge of the area. Who's left for Tenton? Oh! Mullen's a great, 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 great job, Mullen. He's, uh, he reminds me, his determination, just his whole sort of energy reminds me of Michael Jordan. Yeah, just yeah, driven. I, I am want to win. He's going to put it on his back and just make it happen. Right. Amazing. I'm feeling really good now. They got a two-goal lead with I'm 20 minutes to go. Not. They, they can't suck me in one more time. Come on. <laughs> he said, I'll have loads of that. So loads of it. 3 1 now? Yeah, 3 1. Oh, man. Listen, that's the whole don't count your chicken. Is this? Minimum of five minutes. We're at, we're at five minutes of extra time. Added time. the rocky music playing it, this is so hard to watch <laughs> no this is it this is the moment we've been waiting for all uh, season right here it's about to happen the Get longest ready. five minutes of their life it's gonna happen right now if these if this goes to commercial Seconds at the race course. Oh. Come on. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Got it. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> that is the Rocky music. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They totally got the Rocky theme. Great. I hope it doesn't get copywritten. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's Robin the first time Ryan. I've seen Robin Ryan speechless. Robin Ryan got to feel so good right now. <laughs> oh my God. All the investment they made. Oh my God. <laughs> Where's Millie? Speechless. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, that's great. I love that. I love that Robin Reiner just standing there speechless. Yeah, they don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, Bob. Super Bob. That's right. <laughs> wow. 
Oh my gosh. Oh wow. I didn't think it would hit me that hard. That was worth watching this whole season. <laughs> <laughs> what an emotional uh just you could see everyone just explode with the happiness. Because that last five minutes was tense. Oh my gosh. I thought it was great with the Rocky music playing. Yeah, that was pretty good. Well, again, I, I as a as a person who's making YouTube content, I'm like, oh I hope there's no copyright on that. <laughs> Tonight. Oh, there's definitely a copyright on this. myself a real good time. I feel alive. And the world I'm turning inside out. Floating around in ecstasy. So don't stop me now. <laughs> 15,000 were expected. Watch, it's going to be 50,000 people showed up. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. That, that's more than are in the town, I'm betting, right? That's incredible. Nice. Two Wrexham residents in attendance. We're going to see who that is in a second, I guess. Robin Ryan? <laughs> I don't know. Residents. Jordan Davies and his new daughter. Oh, <laughs> nice. Oh, man. This episode's crazy. All right. That's real nice. She must have been having the baby when they were winning. Well, they probably had the parade like... A couple days like later? The next weekend or something. Okay. I mean, they probably had a whole week to set up the parade. What's up, big baby? Oh, Jordan, five for the baby. Oh. Yeah, this morning. Jordan Davies got oh, the, the baby that Oh, that morning. morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that where the baby looks? Oh. <laughs> hey! The ladies team. I'm glad nice. they also they also had the ladies in the parade too. Very awesome. Nice. That's the way to do it. Men's champs, women's champs. That's right. Perfect. What a season, man. So good. They won the women's and the men's championship. So oh, man. good. Can't stop crying over here. I don't, it's happy tears, happy tears. Nice. Is this the last episode or is there another one? I, I thought there might be another one. This feels like the finale for the season. Yeah. It's got to be, right? And it just said that we'll be back. Yeah. Welcome to Rex and we'll be back. To follow their next journey into the next league. Although I had looked up and I saw that they didn't have a release date for season three yet. Oh, they've got to have it, man. This thing's amazing. All right, here we go. Oh, nice. <laughs> yes. Nice is going up to it. Awesome. That's wonderful. Man, what? All the greatness that happened in the last five minutes of this documentary right I'm here. I'm so glad they let themselves be on the documentary after the whole yeah. show documentary for hours. I wonder if they only got on the documentary after they won this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Either uh, way, that's great. Good for them. Congratulations, Notch County. Yeah, congratulations. That's, they that's were so fabulous. deserving. So deserving. It's Scott who had his penalty saved by Ben Foster against Rex. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and they, oh, come on. This is a Hollywood we ending right here. We should have known when the guy was like, I had him in the parking lot. And I told him, look, you're going to, that's not your last big moment. You're going to have big moments. This is you, this is a Hollywood script ending. Everybody goes up. The guy who got blocked gets to score the game winner. Right. The guy has a baby. Oh, the guy's team wins. The girl's team wins. It's it's too good to be true. All of it. It's, it's nice so that good. it is true, though, right? Uh, let's see. So when he got blocked, he kicked down and to the right. Yeah. So let's see if he changes that for this shot right here. Come on. Well, I guess we know he's going to make it. 
Yeah. 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 Down and to the yeah. left. <laughs> Not doing that again. Yes. Yes. Nice. Wow. So good. Oh my gosh. And that's it. Season two of uh, Welcome to Rex. And let's watch the credits here. Shout out to all the people who put this show together. I hope you get nominated for another uh, Emmy. Emmy. This well done. So drama, good. Drama and just beautiful storytelling. Oh, I'm so happy for those people in Wrexham. Uh, 40,000 people. What the hell is that? What's that? What are birds like that in England? What is that? Some kind of crane or something. No, no. They're not in England, Daniel. They're in Wales. Wales? <laughs> but they're, it's not like they're close to the coast. What the hell? That's, that, that's put in there. Right. Rewind that. It's a seagull. They're right on the ocean. No, they're not. Yeah. Rewind this. Oh, I guess they are close to the ocean. But rewind it. That don't look. That's They put that in there. That's probably meant to be like a Man, pretend dragon crazy. or something. You're telling me after all this, they're like, you know what this scene needs? A, a dragon. bird flying across. A dragon. <laughs> Oh, you thought that might be a dragon? Right. Oh, no. We're blind it so I could see the dragon. It already it already came off. I can't believe after everything we just watched, we just got into it over. I think that's supposed to be a dragon. <laughs> Daniel thinks they CGI'd in a big bird here to be a dragon. Weirdo. Wow. I think it was a dragon. Wow. I think they did CGI in a dragon. Danielle, are you happy that we chose to react to this this year? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. This was so Although much fun. it was hard to wait because it comes on Tuesday, yeah. so it was hard to wait till Wednesday. Yep. Like last night, I, if I hadn't been so tired and if the, every, the girls and everything hadn't been here, I just said, let's do it tonight. I want to say thank you to everybody who's been watching this reaction uh, series with us and for not spoiling this end. It was picturesque. It was perfect. It was Hollywood. It was perfect. I hope you so guys. Good. I hope you guys enjoyed our reactions this season. Uh, I think we may think about doing season three when it comes out. If and when oh, it comes for sure. out, absolutely. Got to see what they're doing up in the uh, next league. Now that they got a little money, what are they gonna do? Oh, so good. I want to see the finished cop. All that fun stuff. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this reaction, hit that like button down below. It doesn't cost you anything. It makes us feel good. If you're from Wrexham, let us know what you did that day. Let us Congratulations know. if you're from Wrexham. Yeah. Wrexham. Let us know what you did that day and how crazy it was. Uh, and there's got to be some great stories about stuff that's happened that day as far as partying and celebrating. I mean, what was it like having 40,000 people yes. at Wrexham? Yeah, where do you even park? <laughs> right. <laughs> you got to bust them in, I guess. Uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, if you want to be here for season three, hit that big red button down below. Subscribe if you're just watching this episode. Go back and watch from the beginning. See, see the journey. It's, it's good stuff. Uh, congratulations to the Lady Dragons. Congra congratulations to the Dragons. And congratulations to Knox, Knox, Knox County for doing their part as well. Fabulous. Congratulations to Rob and Ryan. Uh, it's just a great story all the way around. And uh, I just love it. And uh, good Thank stuff. you all for tuning in and watching our little our little youtube channel here and watching our journey this has been amazing and uh and i love all the comments yeah, yeah. yes you can adopt me uh yes i am quite funny <laughs> uh danielle thank you i love you love this you was too. a lot of fun and uh for anybody who stuck around here <clears throat> to the end of the video we appreciate you stopping by and don't, don't forget, forget to come, come on back <laughs> If you enjoyed that video, the YouTube algorithm that knows you better than anybody says you'll also enjoy this video right here. <laughs>